political air in Turkey is turbulent as Turkish voters head to the polls again on Sunday. The presidential runoff between incumbent Recep Tayyip Erdogan and opposition leader Kemal Kilic Darulo marks the final moment in what has been widely billed as Turkey's most important election in recent history. The election period, which officially started on March 18th, has seen numerous twists and turns, the most dramatic being Erdogan confounding opinion polls predictions to finish ahead of Kilic Darulo but narrowly missing out on winning his third presidential term in the first round. The initial vote on May 14th was held alongside parliamentary elections that saw Erdogan's party and its allies secure 323 out of 600 seats. Since then, the level of electioneering has been scaled back with both candidates foregoing the mass rallies seen previously. Erdogan has been kept afloat by his showing in the first round when he took 49.52% of the votes to Kilic Darulo's 44.88%. A win for Erdogan will extend his 20-year rule by another five years. The president later attended a ceremony in Istanbul to mark the anniversary of a 1960 coup that led to the execution of Prime Minister Adnan Menderes, with whom Erdogan has often identified himself. Kilic Darulo, meanwhile, has pivoted to a more nationalist tone since the first round after a strong showing by right-wing voters who gave the third-place nationalist presidential candidate Sinan Ogan more than 5%. As in the first round, Turkish citizens living overseas have completed casting their ballots before election day. Some 1.9 million voted in 73 countries and at border gates where the ballot boxes remain open until voting closes in Turkey. The number of votes has been boosted by more than 47,500 voters who turned 18 over the past two weeks, taking the electorate in Turkey to nearly 60.8 million. Some 192,000 ballot boxes across 87 electoral districts are open between 8 a.m. and 5 p.m. local time. The narrowing of the election to a choice between two candidates has seen both attract support from contenders who stood in the first round. Third placed Ogan backed Erdogan's candidacy earlier this week, while party leaders from the Electoral Alliance that had supported Ogan switched their support to Kilish Darulo. Foremost among the latter was Umit Ozdak, like Ogan, a far-right nationalist whose victory party has claimed an anti-migrant position demanding the expulsion of refugees. Subscribe to One India channel and never miss an update.